All right, let's do the next one. The next one is from Jerry. Love your videos. Thank you so much, Jerry. Um, let's see here. We use a lot of stock parts. Some places like McMaster, where we pull step files easily, and others are stored in zip files with all the parts in step files. I've tried uploading, uploading these zip files, but it doesn't seem that Fusion understands what to do with them. Right, so if you have a zip file full, a zip file is just a packaged up file, right? So um, you need an application like Windows or Mac to un, to open up that zip. Like you can bring a zip file up to Fusion, but it doesn't do anything because it's just a closed package. You would have to, on your local machine, you would have to unzip it. So you unpack it, and then you could bring the, the, the files up. Um, is there any way to share these uploaded libraries to individual users uh, without having to do it separately? Yes, so this is a very, this is a great question from, from Jerry, and it's a very timely manner because we just had an update in Fusion 360 where now everybody have access to Fusion Team. I have done a video on Fusion Team. I'm not going to get totally deep into it right now, but I just want to, Jerry, just so you know, and all of you guys watching, you now all have access to Fusion Team. The easiest thing is to do is actually inside of Fusion, go up and click the little question mark up here and click on Watch New. That will bring up Kaching. He's awesome. His latest uh post in here and you will find down here he's talking about the data management and collaboration with fusion team everyone should go out and read this um and 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 and, and, and there is a couple of support uh, articles on the autodesk knowledge network here um but what it is is that inside of fusion right now um, when you click over here and you get, you know, you see all your folders over here. Um, for most people, unless you already have Fusion Team, but means somebody has to set it up for you. For most of us, we are in our single only personal hub. What that means is that when Fusion started out, they kind of created, you know, you sign up, you put in your email address and you get a Autodesk account. This Autodesk account is yours. It's your files, it's your stuff, right? It's all stored up on the Amazon servers. So each account that was created is associated with your Fusion 360. Again, means that everything you see in here is, um, is, is your files. And wherever you kind of like have sorted out inside of the library and you have your name up here. Now, if you click on your name up here, It will bring you out to this, and 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 this is where you can look at all your files online. Now, um, one thing to, to pay attention to is that when I open this up, you will see it says my hub, and that means that that is my, my personal file. Now, here's what's new. What is new, so, so we have that, but one of the problems we ran into was that when companies we're using Fusion 360, companies didn't want people to use their personal accounts, right? Companies, so if you left the company, somebody left the company, they took the files with them because it was associated with that personal account. So Fusion Team was created and people have have, um, have been using that. It had a little bit of a cost with it. Uh, so a company could buy Fusion Team, what means that now there was one file reservoir, everybody's Fusion are using those files, but it also means that there was permissions. What they have done now uh, was that they have decided that, you know, this is kind of silly. We should, you know, if we could redo everything, we would never have given people a personal account. We would have given them a team account and then people could decide who should get permissions and stuff. So that's what you can do now. So Jerry, that's what you're gonna love that you can do now. So again, go out to um, to this this uh, article and read this. Now, what you get is when you click on this, I'm gonna open this up here. Um, you get a welcome to Fusion team. You can click on that, and now my account is signed up as an Autodesk account. So it's actually Fusion is actually using your domain name. So mine is Lars Christensen 
at Autodesk.com. That means I actually have an administrator um, out there who is in control over the Autodesk.com brand. So I don't, I can see all other, um, there is Al Watmo, uh, Autodesk team. Uh, I could transfer mine over to, to there, but you should see um, that you, you will see here, you can create a new team. And again, read this blog post to get all this information. Uh, so you should probably look a little bit different than mine. Um, so I could move all mine from a private account over to, to another team. And I actually have a team account myself. Um, somewhere in here, you will find my name. So I could transfer everything from my hub over to that. What will actually be better to do? I should do this. What this all means inside of Fusion, I'll just get out of this for a second. Um, inside of Fusion, you can switch between these accounts. You maybe never knew this, but if I go up and click on my name, there is actually a switch team here. So here you can see all, as my phone is ringing, uh, you can see all the different accounts that I am, uh, as I am I'm part of. So in here, switch team, you will see here that I actually have my own account that I could switch over to. You could also do this, um, you could also do this on online. Um, over here, if I click on my name, I could switch from my hub, but again, it's this personal account, to uh, my team account. So if I click on that, it will open up inside of the team. So this is what I would recommend. Everybody transfer their accounts over to a team account like I have here. Um, and what this does is that you can now invite people, for example, and you can start giving them permissions to either be able to edit or view and different things that we couldn't do before. So, Jerry, you should absolutely go out and do this, read this. And again, to get to this blog post, click inside of Fusion, click on the question mark up here, click on what's new, find Kaching's awesome blog post, read through that section here. Um, there's a couple of uh, things to help you with that and you should be all good to go. And you can, uh, you can now share all these files and libraries um, a lot easier. I hope that was useful. Jerry, um, yeah, really appreciate it. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, but that's an important thing that they just added inside of Fusion in the latest release. You should definitely go and check that out. Uh, I, I think this is a great thing. It's something that I think everybody wished they had from the beginning, but that's how it goes. Next question.